These are parts of the Florida Keys, 10 months after Hurricane Irma. Abandoned homes, plots of lands for sale. This island chain is losing population, with many remaining residents facing an uphill battle. It's coming along. It's, coming, it's not complete yet, but it's coming along. It takes a long time. You know, the insurance money did not cover everything, okay? It's a minimal amount, mm -hmm. and between wind and flood, you know, it's just each one diamond nickeling you, basically, you know? For the working class, rebuilding under stricter building regulations and paying higher home insurance premiums makes staying difficult. Rita Bramwich just turned 80, and she still works full time to make ends meet. A cover on the corner there. If I didn't have her, I would be in tears right now. But we first met Rita days after Hurricane Irma entered the Keys as a Category 4 storm. She was assessing the damage to her mobile home. It was September of last year. She had to go to live with her daughter for three months. Why did you decide to come back and repair your mobile home, turn into a house? Well, because it's my home. You know, I mean, I couldn't afford to go someplace else with the way prices are. I couldn't even get a room. Even a studio would be, you know, twelve, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500, you know? And, uh, you know, where else could I go? I mean, this, this is my home, you know, for 30, almost 30 years. Well, I think that's a house we went in. Those with more resources are buying up the most secure properties, and there's a term for this. The idea of climate gentrification is that all the rich folks buy up the most climate resistant properties, pushing the poor folks out. And so a lot of times in the coastal areas, the wealthy people bought along the coastlines because they were beautiful. But as the, as the ocean advances and people move back from the coast, they're going to seek out the high ground. Around the globe, government's response to extreme weather is to move vulnerable people away from the coast. We've seen this from Fiji to Alaska. In the Florida Keys, those with money are sometimes choosing to build luxury replacement homes on stilts. Should you be encouraging these people to stay in an area that's going to be heavily affected by climate risks? And I liken it to saying, well, should you encourage people to stand in the middle of a highway with a truck coming? They're going to get run over. Many prize out of the new trends move away, but others like Rita can't afford to move at all. You don't look like you're ready for another hurricane. Um, you know, I've been here 30 years. This is the first Category 4 hurricane in 30 years. For the Keys, the challenge now is to maintain its working class, the people who serve the rich and the tourists. For them, paradise comes at a higher risk. Mitza Soledad Perez, CGTN, Florida Keys.